Well, hello, YouTubers. How you guys doing? Today, I'm up here at Brothers Auto Sales in Bernie, Texas. I'd like to give a big thanks for providing the truck featured in today's in-depth review. Links to their website and contact information can be found in the video description. So today, I'm here to bring you this beautiful 2007 Dodge Ram 3500 Cummins. This is going to be complete an in-depth review of the 30 Ram 3500. Start the engine, show it off, go over some of the performance specs, and show you many of the unique features and mods that this truck has to offer. So we'll go ahead and get started by walking around the exterior. This does have a nice, deep, patriot, blue, clear coat exterior. One of my favorite colors in the Ram lineup. This has a nice aftermarket gauge front bumper and brush guard with a tow hitch hookup up front. LED fog lights down below. The truck has blacked out 16 inch rims wrapped in BF Goodrich all-terrain TA tires. It does have Weston running boards on the side. This is a quad cab as you can see right here. And it is a dually. It has this nice little wrap around rear bumper for the dually. Which I find really nice. It does have a tow package right down there. I'm going to show you inside the bed. It does have a spray in bed liner in the back. It does have a large six, six inch exhaust tip. This truck does have a DPF delete. Because if we go down here, plainly see that there right there is where the DPF used to be. So reason with that you won't have to worry about all the emissions crap and tearing apart the engine and you also get better fuel economy because of it. So that was all on the exterior of this truck. Now I'm gonna go on the interior. It does have these nice little Dodge tow mirrors. You can just flip them out if you're towing something or push them in if you're not. I always find it handy to have them out because of the dually flares. Inside, this does have a gray cloth interior. Of all your power options over here, your power windows, window locks, power door locks, and power mirrors. So let's go and jump inside. Overall, this is a very nice truck. Now we're going to start the engine. This truck has 147,000 miles in its odometer. Very decent amount of miles on this truck. So, now let's go ahead and start the engine. Very nice. It's got a full leather wrapped steering wheel. Nice and tight power assisted steering. It does have this steering wheel cover on it because over time the original leather on the wheel starts to wear out and discolor. Just puts it on to make it look nice. These new 6.7 trucks have a 6 speed automatic transmission with manual shiftability controlled by the plus and minus on the side of the shifter. Here's your numbers shown right up there in the dash. You also do have a tow haul mode on the shifter stock right there that raises the transmission shift points. So now let's go ahead and turn on the lights. It does have automatic lights, fog lights, and hazards. The driver's side window is automatic down. All right, now let's go ahead and check out the exterior. These LED fog lights are very bright. Give you the sound of this exhaust. And does this thing have a nice sound? Alright, so now we're going to go back inside. 
shut off all the lights. And now, I'm gonna pop the hood and show the engine. At the business end of this Ram 3500, it has the all new for mid 2007 6.7 liter Cummins turbo diesel inline six cylinder. Originally produced 350 horsepower and 650 foot-pounds of torque. This has been fitted with, a, with an EGR delete, as you can see by that block-off plate right there. There's also two block-off plates on the exhaust manifold as well. You don't have to worry about the EGR messing up everything, having the cooler go bad and coolant go down into the motor, which I don't think these Cummins have a problem with that. They're more commonly a problem on power strokes, but anyway, that's not the big deal right here. Does have its original AT351DE turbo down there. Factory airbox. Runs fantastic. No blow by, even with all the mods. And don't get me wrong, these six sevens are fantastic engines. And pretty fuel efficient too. I think with all the mods, the, this thing roughly gets about 17 miles a gallon. So it's a very nice upgrade with the EGR DPF delete. So now let's go ahead and shut the hood and go back inside. Now we'll go ahead and see how it sounds. Fantastic sounding engine. Your parking brake's located right down here. Just press to set, and the indicator light shows right up there in the dash. And then pull this lever here to release. All right, so now we'll go ahead and shut the door. Roll up the window and check out some of the interior features. Man, it's dark in here with all that tint. Get the climate control going right here because it's crazy hot today. It's got its original radio up here very basic you have all your six presets down here your AM FM controller up here tune over here volume there your mode right there auxiliary line in is obviously hooked up right here track seek over here your mute scan eject your PT scan over there time rewind and fast forward six six disc CD players right up here you have a nice little storage compartment down below Climate control, like I said, is down here. Your fan speed's right there. Your temperature in your different zones. Front defrost, recycler, AC control, rear defrost. Right here's the controller for your exhaust brake. Something new on these six, seven trucks. Just push that and now it's on. You can take that off. Right here's your 12 volt power point. This is a non-smoker vehicle. Power points over here. Another little storage compartment over here. Four wheel drive transfer cases over here. You have nice little flip out cup holders right here. Glove box over here. Two storage compartments on the side of the door. Storage inside the center console. Power point right there and two little separation trays that pop up like so. Coin holders as well. Nice little reading light right back here. Visors with your vanity mirrors. Reading lights up here. Here up here's your heads up display. Right here is your compass and outside temperature. You step your right here, distance to empty, system warnings, personal settings. With your step to your trip, elapsed time, units English to metric, average moles per gallon. And you could reset it like so, or go back to your compass and outside temperature. It does have an automatic dimming rear view mirror up here. 
Your cruise controls on the front of your steering wheel. Wiper controls on the turn signal stock. It does have a tilt steering wheel. It does have a power sliding tilting driver's seat with manual recline and manual lumbar support. Right down here, it does have a draw tight brake controller. I'll right, show you the back. Seats folded up right now. Fold it down. These quad cab trucks don't really have the best back seat room in the whole world, but it's average. Storage pocket on the back of the passenger front seat. Two cup holders down here. Like you saw, the bottom of the seat does fold up for extra cargo space. You do have storage right underneath. Overall, I gotta say, this is one very nice truck. I'm gonna go ahead and shut it down here. Well guys, I hope y'all enjoyed this in-depth review of the 2007 Dodge Ram 3500 SLT. Please like, rate, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching, we'll see you next time.